Into the men's session nine now of the round robin, and the game we're featuring this time is Norway against Sweden, two of the powerhouses of world curling, two of the teams. Oh, here in the first stand of Norway against Sweden. Tom Solskjaer forced to draw to the A foot to score one. After a very straightforward peel by Nicholas Edin. The Supers backed right away from this one, but a little bit back in there just to give him some extra help. Score one in the first end. Norway won, Sweden nil. The second end was blanked, and then here into the third. A lovely draw around by Oscar Eriksson, setting up this opportunity for Sweden. Tom Solskjaer missed the run back. And it would be a straightforward tap back for Sweden to score two and take the lead for the first time in the game. And then on to the fourth end. Again, some yellow Swedish granite littered around the house. And Thomas Sol should carefully steer the draw into the eight-foot circle to put another point on the board and tie things up. The fifth end was run through, and after five ends, it's Norway two, Sweden two. Norway against Sweden. This was Nicolas Sedin needing to draw against two. Here in the seventh end, to take a one-shot lead. And of course he made it. He's making everything. So 3-2 yeah. after seven ends there. Yeah, well, one is the end of my hair, And then on to the eighth end, it was Thomas Ulfrud's turn to draw the forefoot against two. Chance to tie the game up. And as well looked after by Vod Pettersson and Sva. Down into the forefoot. Three after eight ends. And this was the killer ninth end. Norway went extremely aggressive to try and make a score happen. But Sweden playing a super end to score three and blow the game wide open. And then handshakes in the 10th end as Sweden ran at Norway out of stones to win the round robin. Norway will be second. Final score, Sweden 6, Norway 3. Well played, topping the standings in, in the round robin. How would you compare that performance to, to other ones? Yeah, I, I don't think it was a great game. Uh, you could uh, feel the tension out there. Uh, both teams uh, kind of struggled, both with the ice and then... Uh, Knowing that we're already in the playoffs, kind of uh, looking forward to playing a, a fun and well-played game, but it, we, we didn't really execute that well uh, either of the teams. So it was a uh, it was a war out there. We, we needed to uh, make a, a few good shots and then uh, needed some mistakes from them, but uh, luckily we got them, so we could finish it off. So is that what made the difference in the end, the mistakes? Definitely, yeah. Uh, we we uh, didn't really set much up uh, until that ninth end, but uh, we kept uh, the hammer and tied. Uh, usually had the hammer in the in the even ends as well. So I think we were a step ahead the whole way, and they, they felt they needed to uh, really force or steal in that ninth end, and that gave us the uh, the opportunity for three there. You've had a great season. You're the team to beat. Do, do you mind the favourites tag? No, not at all. Uh, I I think at the Europeans, I think it's been between us and Olsrud for for many years now. So. Uh, we're used to that, and I think this was a big step towards uh, uh, maybe beating them in the final. Uh, we'll see, but uh, this definitely felt like the toughest game in the round robin, and, and uh, they know uh, we'll be in the finals if we play as well as we can. So uh, it was important for, for respect between the two teams to win this game, I think.